Hey guys, so we're making a video. <laughs> we're attempting to make a video on my phone. Um, Cause I don't wanna do all that editing. But this is just a questions and answers video. The lighting is not great. But let's get started. So what's the first question? Celebrity or YouTube personality you envy or look up to? You go first. Honestly, I have to say the Rad Brad. I don't even know who that is. He's a, he has a gaming channel, and from what I understand, he's doing pretty well with it. He gets thousands upon thousands, like hundreds of thousands of views. So, I'm a little jealous. Um, Mine would be... Britney and Baby, probably. It would be. What's your favorite and least favorite thing about each other? <laughs> okay. Well. You go first. Hmm. I would have to say my favorite thing is that she doesn't judge. She's not a very judgmental person. She accepts people for who they are. I mean, she still accepts me after losing my teeth, so I mean, that's saying something. And then... My least favorite thing about her is that there are times where she can get to be a little bit too much and very anxious and can get very frustrated with me at times because I'm not completely understanding what she's saying, but in the end, we do work it out and we are able to get it fixed. So, your turn. I'm scared about this one. Um, my favorite thing about him is that he helps out a lot with the kids, even though he works so long. And my least favorite thing would be he has trouble waking up at night. This is true. How did you two meet? We met on an internet site called, what was it called back then? My meet, Yearbook. Yeah, now it's called Meet Me. Yep. And he said, hey, beautiful. And I was just moving into town at the time, so we decided that we would meet each other because he lived in town. Yeah, we're the OGs of Meet Me. Um, what's one thing you fight about the most? Uh, probably money or the kids. Definitely money. We are yeah. always fighting about our financial stuff. What's the age gap between you guys? Less than a year. Um, I was 93, and he was 94. She was October, I was June. Uh, is it hard to find the time to be intimate with each other having four kids now? And if so, how do you make the time? Uh, um, any wow. intimate time is after everybody's asleep. And that is not very often, just because the kids, we have so many kids, and... They wake up through the night. Two of them wake up through the night. Sometimes three or four. <laughs> but usually at least one kid wakes up through the night. Yep. And sometimes they don't go to bed on time. And yeah. Okay. Do your families get along? For the most part. I mean, I haven't they really... They get along. They just don't really know each other very well. Yeah, they're civil with each other, but they don't really associate outside of family gatherings or birthday parties or anything like that. Uh, okay, how do you get over problems in the relationship? Um, by talking about it. It's mainly the only way to get out of any problem in a relationship. <laughs> just talk and figure it out. And the last one, what are the personalities of each of one of your kids? Oh, uh, well. Starting with Caden, he's just outgoing. Why is the lighting so bad? I have no idea. <laughs> he's really outgoing. He says whatever's on his mind, which is usually like a bunch of nonsense. Definitely outspoken, for sure. <laughs> Asher is kind of an introvert. He likes to be on his own. Um, he loves hugs, but... When it comes to new people, he doesn't automatically just jump to them and start talking to them. It takes a little bit. Emrys is the wild Emrys child. Emrys is the wild one. He <laughs> gets into everything, he drives, climbs everything. 
he drives me the craziest out of all the kids. Like, every single one of our kids, Caden and Asher, when they were his age, didn't do any of the things that Emrys does. He is a rebellious wild child. And then Ari, we don't really know much about her personality yet, but she's mostly, she's talkative to herself. And she's sweet. But, she smiles whenever I come home. Yeah, she's a daddy's girl, and she does really well now outside of the house, like when we take her to the zoo or something. Okay. Never mind, one more. It says no limitations, so I decided to ask a little spicy question. Ha, ha, ha. Did you guys lose your virginity? Hold on a second. To each other? No. No. That is a long story there. All right. What is Bryce's job? Do you want to go back to school? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, currently, I'm a teller. Um, I have been now for the past... Uh, almost year and a half. Um, before that, I was a shift lead and a automotive mechanic over at Walmart. I was one of the Tire Lube Express people. Um, and yes, I do want to go back to school. I would like to get into um, business management or business finance and work my way up and become either a financial officer or even a financial advisor in some way. And I see myself in 10 years hopefully having a degree and being able to help support my family better. Do you guys want to move anytime soon? Yeah. <laughs> it, I mean, we love the house. We love everything about we the like house. We like the small town feel. It's just... It's too far away from our other family. And there are difficulties in the school system that we're in right now. How tall are y'all? I'm five foot six. I'm five three. Is that the last thing? I think so. That's the last one. That's all the questions. Do you seriously need to do a shout out to this Jess Cybert? She got like all the questions on here. <laughs> Thank so you, Jess, for commenting and everybody else who asked questions. And sorry, the lighting and the camera is so bad. I just didn't want to pull out the big one for this. But um, we got the iPhone. Yeah. So anyways, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.